Hey, what's up everybody? This is A1 and all, and I'm doing an 80s review on uh, an action figures line, Sectors, Warriors of Symbion. Symbion is a planet where uh, these characters came from. Um, they're like half insect and half human beings. Um, what I have here today is the leader of the bad guys, Dark Domain. General Spydrax. Now these characters are um, unique in their own ways. Um, there's no posability on the elbows, no no um, bendable joints, but um, they do have a ball joint along with some rubber that connects to the other um, arm. So it's pretty nice and tight. Uh, his head could rotate 360 degrees. And um, his head is soft, see you could actually squeeze it. Nice um, glossy pur light purplish color with some um, black spray painted to give it that um, nice 3D effect look. And um, you see some red fur on there on, and on his arms, on his wrist. As you can see he has six eye insect eyeballs and a nice um, grin with some sharp teeth. For some, re some reason uh, they make a lot of characters, bad guy, bad guy characters with helmets with horns on them. Kind of like the Transformers Pretender Bludgeon and um, just a few from the spawn line that has the helmet with the horns. This is back. Now his legs, there's a ball joint right there, and um, you can bend. Some of them came with steeds that were insects, huge insects, and um, here he has a saddle that he could fit on. Like that. As you can see, it's like a true furry feel to it. His name is Spider Flyer, so General Spidrax flies this. Spider Flyer wasn't really obeying General Spidrax, but uh, the fact that he was uh, treated as a, a slave steed, he used his whip, I guess, to to force him to listen to him. As you can see, he looks menacing, and his wings are nice and. Uh, clear with um, a bumpy feel to it. It's really nice detail of light green and, and purple. It's really nice. Nice detail. You could use it as a puppet. So you can put your fingers in each of the, the insect legs. Um, right here he has two but you know spiders are supposed to have four. But it still looks nice you know. And then there's your, your uh, middle finger could bob the head up and down. So it has a nice um, almost clear uh, red plastic eyes with some uh, has some bubbly effects on there. But it really looks nice and white white mandibles. Now here's the box. This is like a huge two foot by one foot box. Here's his nice character picture the sector's logo hands in action motorized wings um, in the cartoon I remember um, one of the the good guys right here him mentor he, his voice was actually Peter Cullen's voice the one that um, talked for Optimus Prime in the 80's cartoon and in the Transformers movie um, this hive, um, I never got this hive, but um, I he heard it's like three feet tall. It's like real huge. I think bigger than the Castle Grayskull of He-Man. And then it came with like a little um, arachnid monster that pops out of that hole. Um, I got this, um, his name is Skulk. He's the 
the son of the the queen of the um, bad guys. Now in this package deal, uh, it came with um, a nice comic book, small comic book, and it shows a story about the good guy versus evil, um, dark domain. In the beginning of the page, there's this nice map that that's really graphical. It has the the lake of blood. Now I remember in the cartoon there was an episode about the lake of blood. Um, sea of Acid Rain, Deadly Swamps, Mount Sector, Desert of Lost Hope. Now, th this would be a really nice storyline if they were to make it a into a movie. Um, hopefully they do since they're making so many 80s uh, cartoons into movies nowadays. Uh, it comes with an in instruction manual. Here we have accessories, whip. Here's a saddle back um, backpack that you can um, put together and, and uh, connect to the to Spider Flyer. Here's a shield for General Spydrax, and, and here he comes some um, with holsters. Put this on his back. Uh, comes with two small pistol-like guns. And this huge, huge gun. Also comes with a, a net. Uh, I can assume when he's flying with a um, spider fly, he just drops this on him. The good guys capture them. Size comparison. Here's one of my all-time favorite rock crusher from uh, Cops. Fighting crime in a future time. As you can see, General Spydrax, and I'm pretty sure the other um, sectors line are about the same height. See, he towers over Rock Crusher. Here goes um, Insecticon Bombshell. He's like twice the size of Bombshell, the G1 um, Insecticon. And um, I like how they use the dark black and purple with red um, almost similar to the Insecticon purple and dark black is like a good colors for um, insects one thing you gotta be careful about um, putting the batteries in what, see this cover right here you gotta be careful cause like a lot of these get broken in the piece where it closes so I'll, I'll just like leave that off for now Plastic is really brittle. Turn on his wings. There you go. His wings flapping. Look at that. Whoosh. Prince Dargon. You know my bitch. Whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> there he is. He takes off. Looking at a one and all's collection, I look forward to um, doing more reviews on this toy line. Be on the lookout. Thanks for watching.